From the supply table, you're going to grab one piece of metallic paper. You're also going to grab a Sharpie. I'm going to use a thicker Sharpie, that way you guys can see the lines I'm drawing. You guys will use a thinner one. If you get a Sharpie that doesn't work, bring it up to me and I'll check it out and just grab an another one. You're going to flip over your metallic paper and put your name in the top corner. Mr. Calvert, and you are my two and whatever class you're in. Then you can flip it back over. And we're going to start off by drawing kind of the squiggly mark. Don't overdo your squiggly mark. Kind of filling up all of that paper, getting close to the edge. All right, so that's pretty good. You can see I didn't just scribble all over the place. Like it did a lot, but I was very thoughtful. I didn't make my lines too little. After you have all the squiggle done, you're going to use vertical lines. So a vertical line is a line that goes straight up and down. You're going to use horizontal lines, lines that lay down. And you're going to use a diagonal line, a line that leans to fill in all these sections. Notice that when I make my lines, I keep them kind of close together. I also have my line go from the top of a section all the way to the bottom. You need to fill in all of these sections. And use a variety of different lines too between your verticals and horizontals and diagonals. When you're finished, you should have all the sections of your squiggly line filled in. Notice that I use verticals, I use different kinds of diagonals, I also used horizontals. When you get this far, you are finished for the day. We're going to make a nice neat pile of these up on the supply table. Make sure to clean up after yourself.